Well, I just decided to uh, invite Bobby to help me make supper tonight. I put in in the in the sink with a bunch of onion rings, and uh, I'm gonna break this up into three different videos. I'm about to construct a major meal. Have fun with your onion rings, Bobby. Splash around. Hey you. Hey you. And I've got some shrimp out that he is flying. He needs to be clipped again. You don't want to go in there with the onion rings? Okay. So my first step, I'm going to make a salad. I got some radishes marinating in vinegar. And I'm about to do a, a big sandwich. I got two pieces of 60% bread here. And I'm going to do a grilled cheese sandwich. And I got a Italian blend. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to try both of this with these shrimp. And, uh, of course, I have to peel them first. They're raw. I prefer them raw. And then you know when they're done when they're pink. I've seen Bobby eat sardines and chicken. He's not supposed to, but... Uh, and then I'm going to make an eggnog, like my mom used to do. I can't find eggnog anywhere. And I'm going to make some coffee right now. Uh, I found out a way to... I found out a way to uh, use this Kerrig. Uh, I don't know where these Kerrigs came from, but I hardly ever drink coffee. I can't handle caffeine. But I'm just gonna pull this, put this Kerrig in here and have coffee tonight for a change. Yeah, that should be good enough. And uh, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna make my eggnog and uh, my sandwich. I'm gonna grate some mozzarella cheese here. I got some Gaier, Gaier cheese. I was wondering if Bobby liked any of these uh, vegetables on the counter. And I got, he can't eat this. He can't eat avocado, it will poison him. And he should like banana because he's from Bolivia. But, uh, um, yeah, and then in my sandwich, I got some turkey and some chorizo and some lobster pate and gorgonzola cheese. So it should be a pretty good meal. I just turned 60 years old, so I thought I'd treat myself. And I got myself a lobster from the grocery store. And uh, I was about to check out all the ingredients on here and cut them out of there. That's for tomorrow. And uh, people do some really weird things. What the? Jeez, I would never do that. I would never do that. What the heck? Anyways. Um, and I got three candles lit here tonight. In memory of mom. She was 73. And uh, then I have to do a breading mixture. For the shrimp so that's for the shrimp that's that stuff panko it's Japanese breading but you need an egg that's what I did wrong last time y you need milk or uh, an egg so and then on top of everything I'm gonna put on some fennel I'm gonna do a taste test with the two fennels one looks more like uh, rosemary I think that irritates your stomach. Uh, and then there's another kind of fennel, it's ground. I don't know what's better, but I hear fennel is really good on everything. And uh, and then some three color pepper. And uh, mayonnaise from Africa that I got from the African store. Yes, it is tangy. And then I got uh, the Chinese five spice blend. 
the Chinese five spice blend I'm gonna put there and uh, so I got, got a little bit of frying up here to do I like these Fresno red peppers they're slightly milder than a jalapeno I think but no they have a really good flavor they're my favorite the Fresno but if, if Bobby ever ate this he would be in big trouble he will die yeah. This is what's toxic for parrots. What's toxic for parrots? Avocado, caffeine, fat, dairy, onion and garlic, just like me. I love onion and garlic, as long as I take my omniprazole. Uh, and scallions, too. Uh, they cannot handle meat, mushrooms, chocolate, peanuts, fruit seeds, or xylitol. Yeah, if he ever got a hold of this avocado, it's still not quite ripe, but I kind of prefer it that way. And then I'm going to put in a few of these pickles in my sandwich as well. Anyways, now that's the end of my video. So maybe I'll make one more video when everything is done. You sure you don't want to go for another bath with your onion rings, Bobby? Hmm? No? Okay. Yeah. So, it takes a long time to make a good meal. And, uh, I haven't used this drink mixer in years. But, uh, where's my glasses? All right. Let's find out what the ingredients are in this lobster. It's just thawing for tomorrow. Uh, what I pay for it? Twenty bucks or something? Uh, whoop. Hmm. Well, it doesn't. Oh, here it is. All right. It's got a little bit of potassium, calcium, and iron, and that's about it. it doesn't have much fat. So it's pretty healthy. But that's about it. There's no additives. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, salt. They added salt. That's about it. Well, I thought it was a good size for $20. Hmm. Huh. You know what's a good joke? I saw this once. Somebody placed a lobster under the driver's seat of a person's vehicle. And no, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Reach out and grab your ankle. Not a good idea. So, yep, yeah, now I gotta peel the prawns. And I'll be breading those. Uh, what am I doing again? Oh, I'm breading them in here in the Japanese mix. And, and, uh, um, Onion rings, that's what I'm doing here. I'm breading these onion rings. Maybe it is better to use egg instead of water to bread them. And then I got stringy mozzarella that I'm gonna put in my grilled cheese sandwich. So, I got it all set up here. Yeah, it's gonna be a big meal. I probably won't eat it all yes uh, tomorrow. Uh, I didn't eat much yesterday. Today I'm feeling hungry. Tomorrow I probably won't eat much. These shrimp are from Thailand and they're raw. Look at them. Sheesh. So, with homemade eggnog, I can't find eggnog anywhere at the stores anymore. They only sell eggnog at Christmas. It's all sold out. So, my mom used to make homemade eggnog with nutmeg, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to find the right recipe. And then, when the sandwich is done, the mustard and ketchup goes on. And then maybe have a couple chocolates that I got as a gift from my realtor. Put a little bit of turkey in the sandwich, lobster pate with gargonzola, and then I win the 649.
Right, Bobby? Right, Bobby? Say hi. Say pretty bird. I know you like buttons. Don't you dare. Hey, you. Hey, you. Anyways, that's about it. All right, it's time to get to work.